What's going on you guys? Appreciate you guys being back for another video. Down here in the reloading room tonight, uh, kind of messing around, thinking about doing some PRS matches. Um, I've already pretty much got everything that I need to get out there and um, go through the paces, eat some humble pie, and uh, try and get better each time. But figured um, kind of getting some, maybe a little bit of extra time this summer um, until about mid-June. So I guess spring into early summer, might have some extra weekends. Uh, typically always gone every weekend for my daughter's travel sports, but might have a little bit of extra time. So um, I mentioned on the channel here a few times, but used to do F-class competitions um, years ago, like 2011 to 2013 range, somewhere around there. But anyway, um, kind of using some of those same components and some other components that I already have. Um, won't be shooting 6mm yet, that's what I would eventually want to work up to. But I'd be shooting the uh, tactical class, which would be 223 or 308. Um, I've already got everything for 308 and that's what I would be using. Um, the, the BC, the uh, ballistic coefficient just isn't near as strong as those six millimeters. So that's something I would want to work towards if I like it. And the main reason that I'm doing it uh, or even thinking about doing it is just one, to make sure that I like it, use what I already have. That way I'm not, you know, spending extra money in case it's something I don't like. But uh, without even being there yet, not without even doing a match, I'm pretty dang confident that I'm going to enjoy it. Used to love shooting F-Class, but just got too busy and kind of got away from it. So just a quick overview of what I'm going to be kind of using in the field. Some things are going to change, um, and I've still got quite a bit of ways to go. But kind of just want to throw it out there, see what you guys thought about it, see if that's something you guys would like to see a little bit of on the channel. Um, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think if you want to see some, maybe some videos of, you know, dialing in the dope on the 308, kind of my setup, you know, just kind of a, all around feeling of what, what's going to be used uh, going into my first match. But uh, what I'm going to be using, kind of getting started out with, uh, right here. You guys have probably seen the side end video on this a year or two ago. Um, this is the XR Element chassis right here. Uh, this right here is just spray painted for now, but I'm actually taking this tomorrow uh, to my gunsmith. And we're going to get this threaded so I can run either a muzzle brake or... Uh, I know not many do it, but I might actually run my suppressor on it. We'll just see kind of how the weight, um, you know, ends up on this setup. I want it to be very balanced, um, and I think I need a little bit heavier barrel, so the suppressor is going to help with that, but we'll see. Might just go with the brake, might run the suppressor, time will tell. Probably going to strip this off. This is spray painted stainless steel barrel under here. This is a 24 inch, 1 and 10, t one and ten twist criterion barrel. Uh, that's the same barrel that I shot F-Class with out to 1,200 yards in the 308. Going to sell this Vortex scope here and uh, get a different scope. Uh, but that's kind of it right now. Just kind of tinkering with some stuff. Um, wondering about if I'm going to put some extra weights in here. Or I've got the ability to put some weights here on the M-Lock rail. So just uh, kind of a quick video here tonight. Like I mentioned, just... Um, want to put it out here on the channel see if there would be any interest on seeing future videos on this setup and uh just kind of all around prs type stuff so we'll see we'll see how things go and uh got a long ways to go but uh should be fun happy hunting be safe we'll see you on the next one bye mm -hmm. 